Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I thought I would, how do you say, uh, go through my magazines and pull out some stuff for, for some collage. Um, I haven't art journaled in so long and I miss it and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna get some pages prepared and have some fun. So I thought I would come on here and just talk to you guys and, you know, see how you guys have been doing. So I have my um, book here, and I'm going to use this for my art journal for now. And this is the uh, Mixed Media Canson, and it is 7 by 10. And I'm going to use, you know, I'm going to use this, some of these pages as my art journal. I've done some, you can see um, the collage I had done here. So... I thought, you know what, I just want to play. just want to play. And that's what I'm going to do. I've got all kinds of pages. I go backwards, so, you know. Oh my, <laughs> I just miss it. And, I don't know. I just thought, why not play? So I'm going to go backwards this way. Okay, I get magazines free in the mail all the time. Um, I think it's called free magazines or freebies or something. Um, they're always writing me to send, you know, free magazines. So that's what I'm going to use. And so I thought that I would um, just take my knife and my ruler and those kind of things and, you know, cut out some words and some pictures to do because I love doing um, collage and I love my art journal. Uh, I got a couple requests to do more of my drawing, how I do using a page. Um, which that'll be coming up, but for now, this is what I'm going to do. I have my Mod Podge mat. Now, let me talk to you about something. Um, I got a lot of questions. I love Mod Podge. I love plaid, you know, folk art plaid, the whole thing. And people always say, oh, my, you know, my um, art journal gets gummy or, you know, it's sticky and la, 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 la. And yeah, sometimes it can happen. It depends on your, uh, where you're at, if it's humid, if it's not, the whole thing. Um, but don't use gloss. Make sure you use matte. And just for you to know, um, Mod Podge makes paper. Mod Podge paper, it's called. And it comes in matte and gloss as well. I suggest the matte. And you can use that, and it's made uh, a new formula for paper so it does not get sticky. So that's completely up to you. You can use gel medium, decoupage, whatever you have. This is what I use. This is my bottle from six years that I've been using. I just keep refilling it. But this is what I'm going to use today. And I'm going to take some words. So real simple is a good one. So I'm just going to take my knife and lightly go in and cut. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you guys know I have my big... I think I have like three of them, freezer bags. And I stick all my words in one and all my papers, you know, that I cut out in another. So I can keep them a little bit more organized because I'm the last person in the world who is organized. <laughs> I have stuff everywhere. Now I am um, moving downstairs and not in the big, big room. If you've been with me for a while, you know, I have that humongous room downstairs where I used to have my art room. Now it's a living room <laughs> um, where we watch TV and all that kind of stuff. But the opposite room uh, I've been in before, I move all over the place. I like to move in the, in when the seasons change, I like to move rooms around, um, whether it's just the room itself or physically move rooms to different rooms. Uh, that's just my gig, but I'm going to move down there where Dave is and Dave's going to move up here. Uh, he's a writer, so he, you know, he can just use his desk he doesn't he has like two things and i'm up here with six million things and uh you know so all right so we're gonna do real simple i can sit here and yap 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 but i figured i'll do a you know i'll sit and do a vlog um you know when i move and all that kind of stuff i want to do i've been pouring as you guys know, if you follow me on Facebook. And if you don't follow me on Facebook, or you're not my friend on Facebook, 
my link is down below, but you can just look knitting and things or Kelly Donovan and you will find me. Friend me. I love it. I love seeing what you guys do and I post what I do. Um, and I've been pouring, obsessively pouring. And they're up for sale if you're interested. My Etsy will be at the end of my video. And I'm doing pretty good. I've sold quite a few, which I'm quite happy with. <laughs> Helps me with medication and stuff, so not complaining. But yeah, so I've been pouring a lot and I wanna have everything in one area. Like I wanna be able to pour and record it or, you know, resin and record it, do my jewelry and record it. Like I want different areas. And right now my room's kind of small. It's like 10 by 10, which I know is not small to some. I don't, you know, it's, some people do on their kitchen table. That's how I started out on my kitchen table. Um, you know, and then it, it just kind of progressed into different things. But that is, oh, I like pretty, the word pretty. Let's get the plus with that. You know, so I think I'm going to be moving down there once he gets caught up with whatever he's doing because it's not an easy feat. But I don't know. I I just been wanting to art journal lately and to collage and um so anything with doing this with har harvesting, that's the word. Harvesting magazines is you lose, you know, you're like, "Oh, you know, I lost this page or I lost this picture." <laughs> but what are you going to do? Let's see. If there's anything Sometimes I, I got to get out my, um, maybe when I move downstairs and I get my other uh, journals out, uh, I can show you guys because I love building, you know, the games that you play like on your phone and stuff like that, um, where you <clears throat> build like your house, you know what I mean? Like that kind of stuff. Like I used to love doing that in my art journal. So like for instance, this, I know it's hard to see because of the glare, but uh, this is a cool vase with the flowers. So I would literally cut that out and use that and like redo rooms in, on my art journal pages, um, which I love. And I don't know. I don't know if I'll be doing that again. Oh my goodness, little dog. I'm going to get him out. But like, for instance, this lamp I'd cut out this dresser. I would cut out and it's kind of hard cause the dog's bums on it, but you know, those kind of things. Oh, those words. Okay. Oh. Uh, this is just one of the funnest things to do, like I said, most fun to do. I have so many magazines that I have been, like, hoarding to do this. Um, so, if this interests you guys in, at, at any point, let me know, and I'll continue to do it. Otherwise, I sit here at night with music on, and I cut, and I do things, you know? So, a place to unwind. That's a good one, too. I got this knife, which I love, off of Amazon. I'll link it down below if you're interested, but it is my favorite thing because I have RA and fibro, as you guys know. I know a lot of you do as well. And, um, oh, my D's coming off. Oh. One second. Okay. It's wonderful because um, I can hold it up here to cut if I need to. You could see it's chunky monkey. Or, you know, I can hold it down here. It's chunky down here as well. So it depends on how my hands are that day. This is fantastic. Uh, do I have any of my... I might have them downstairs. Um, my pencils that I love to use. You know, the bigger ones. I love mechanical. I love like this, they make these, these, this is Dr. Grip. Um, if you go to like the Staples or wherever, and I'm sure on Amazon they have it as well. Um, you, uh, can find them with the, you know, with the chunkier so you can hold it. So now sometimes I'll put like this, see my magazine here. Okay. Now see, I could cut this out, the, oh, the stuff, but like, if I don't want to ruin the page under here, see, like, the, she is such a good picture to draw. 
Oh, do I want that lamp? How bad do I? I don't want that lamp. Maybe I'll pull her out and we'll do a picture with her. I love doing those. Okay. So if I put it under here, let's see. I don't want anything on there. Nothing on there. Hmm. I was sent um, Shishido uh, face cream, two of them, and I've been using them. And I, you know, you know when you just don't know. Um, I've just shaved my face because I want to get it like make sure it gets on my skin. But like to me, I'm like, oh yeah, you know what I mean? But then I said to my daughter, can you, can you tell anything? No. <laughs> of course, right? Ugh, kids. Hmm. Oh, I like this. Let's see. Is there anything on this side? Oh my God. Okay. So I'm going to be careful when I do this. I don't necessarily want to, I don't need the whole blue. I try to cut out straight so I don't have to always like fix them. You know what I mean? When I go to use them, but like for this one, for instance, you can use anything. You can use your scissors. You can use a regular X-Acto knife. This is just, um, I'm just mentioning this one because with my hands, but like this one, for instance, you know, it's like kind of crooked, but I could cut these individually. I don't know how I'll use them. And then, Uh, kind of like real simple. Okay. Harvesting, Kelly. Harvesting, harvesting. I probably will not sit here and harvest. Um, everything today because it'll take me for, you know, <laughs> oh, the word moist. Oh, I hate that word. Closer to banishing the word moist. <laughs> There's nothing I can do with that. The light, that's a good word. What's on here? Mm, nothing. I'm not going to worry about doing that unless I really want something on both sides. Because if I sit, I mean, and if you guys do this, you know, you can't sit and be so picky all the time because you're always going to lose a picture or whatever. And if something takes me too long and too fussy to do, I don't want to do it. And that's, you know, that's kind of a problem because then I end up not doing it. Oh, this, 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 I gotta move this stuff over. All in my jam here. This, this page, everything about this page I love. I'm trying to, I wanna redo a living room, you know, very cheaply. Um, I don't have to worry about art on the walls, but oh, that is adorable. See, now what I would do, like in an art journal page or on a canvas even, it depends on what I have, where I like flat canvases for this. Um, I would literally cut this out. And I just bought Emily a, is it a peace sign with crystals and macrame and all? Because I'd love to do macrame. I have a kit here to do. But this I could make as my backdrop, right? And then I could glue my dog and all that. So that's, that's fun. And then you have them all here individually. And I'm going to cut this one like this oh, and take her, take her down. There we go. Cause all those are individual. And then I'm going to take these words. Isn't that funny that like you might be watching this and saying like, Oh, I would have taken this. I would have taken that. But like how different we are, you know what I mean? Like a studio that inspires space of the month. Her bright and poppy office helps the artsy interpreter get her work done. You know, I don't know what words I'll use from that. 
but I will. Books. I love me some books. Oh, God, Kelly, you cannot pick everything out. All right, this will be the last one I do because I'll cut individual from it, you know? Who knows? Who knows what I'll use for it? And don't cut towards yourself. Always cut away. I know. I know. Finish strong. That's a good word. I have to go maybe one day on here if you guys enjoy this um one day i will go through my big i'll get my bags that i have cut and uh do it on you know we'll go through them and see the stuff you wonder you know i wonder to myself like well, what did i find that was important <laughs> to cut out right okay oh trash oh i could make a all right stop but worthy of a smile? Oh, yes. Now, I am one of those people who love um, quotes. I know. Some people hate them. Some people leave, like, like do memes and, like, oh, I don't want to hear. I love quotes. So, I would do a page of just little, like, worthy of a smile. Like, just, like, words and um, inspirational things, right? Canned chickpeas. Who wouldn't want that? Oh, God. I could eat that right now. I'm on Weight Watchers, but honestly, it's been a rough week. So, I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm just going to go back, you know, and, and go back strong. That's all you can do. Can't, you know, beat myself up. Dave wants to go back on keto, but I just don't know if I have it in me. For keto i love doing keto but it's so hard to get back into the planning of it where weight watchers is so much easier um come on now keep moving forward and when you're using your knife just don't push so hard so then maybe you won't go through and cut something up or maybe you will this is sharp as balls but um you know Yeah. Yeah, yeah, boy. God, my jersey coming out. I don't know. All right. Ooh, what's this? Guides is good. That's good for any pay, any uh, witchy stuff. Oh. This is interesting for anybody who cares. The education or uh, person for Pixie, which is a beauty and scare, skincare brand, which I'm aware of, suggests freezing your favorite daily toner into cubes. Rub one all over your face after cleansing, starting at your forehead and working down. As you massage the cube on your skin, the cold helps alleviate swelling like under eye bags. What? You can also toss your face masks into the fridge. Kelly, where have you been? Kelly, where have you been? Kelly. Kelly, can you heal me? Come on. Really? That's a good one. I'm going to leave that out there. All right. What else? We're gone. What else? We're gone. Beans don't count. Little dog. I can't anymore. Oh my god, the dogs. Such an animal lover. But. Work hard. That's a good one. You never know. And like I said, work hard. Why is she taking it? I don't know. Maybe I'll use it. But guess what? If I don't and I go through my stuff at a later date, I'll be like, why did I pick that one? I don't want to work hard today. That's how I feel today. But oh, come on. What can we do with this? Come on, you can't pass up chocolate chip cookies. Oh, I could just go make some of those right now. And the milk I can do without because unless it's lactose free, and I can't do the almond and all, I can't get it down. But if it's not lactose free, then there's an issue. You know what I mean? And I don't feel like being in the bathroom all day. Renewal's a good word, huh? But it's cut. Let me tell you something. Where did I see it? Okay, let me just tell you. This is the... Uh, I got the Aveeno, I think it's the fresh green. It's not the dry shampoo, but it's the shampoo. Oh, yes. 
Okay, that's one thing. And also, I wanted this, I just, this, these are my favorite. All these razors. Emily bought me a razor. I don't know what brand it is, though. Um, I love Herbal Essence, but this right here is the OGX Extra Strength. It's biotin and co collagen shampoo and conditioner. It's the purple one. It's everything. It's changed the whole texture of my hair. Uh, I have naturally curly hair. Uh, Emily uses it too, but it's really nice. Um, so for something to try, yeah, you know, if you're looking for something else for your hair, uh, this stuff is great. Um, it's a tad bit, these are $8 a piece. You know, you go to Walmart, right? They sell them on Amazon and everything as well. But maybe you use it twice a week. Maybe you don't have a lot of money and you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to spend $16 on these. And then um, sometimes you can get them five bucks a piece. You maybe use your other one in between, like your cheaper one or whatever, you know, that you usually buy. But that is a good one. I can speak for that. Oh, my dog. I don't know why. What else we have here? A lot of makeup, which I love. I love the makeup. My dog's gonna have to decide to choke. I'm just gonna tell you. Choking, choking. Martha Stewart, does she have a bunch of necklaces on? Oh, with her CBD, she's getting, uh, she's getting fresh. Oh my goodness. What else? What else? What else? This is a good page. Write your worries away. I can't speak this enough. Do any, does it, do any of you uh, do poetry? or write. That'd be fun to share little tidbits um, with each other. But this is about journaling and all, so. And gratitude, which I can't, you know, I tell my husband all the time. Try to be grateful and have gratitude. Because you never, you know, we know, we lost our son. Oh. My gray would never look like that, but this is like the most beautiful picture. Oh. That is a gorgeous picture. I'm going to have to use that for something. Um, I could never go gray. Mine's like that yucky gray. I think. I haven't seen my gray. I mean, I only have it my roots right now, but got to do it. But yeah, so I tell Dave all the time to try to be grateful. I can't always do it myself, but, um, you know, it's easier to tell somebody else what to do or, you know, like I have spoken about losing my son, for instance, and a lot of people who have lost children as well, um, you know, I become friends with or, you know, whatever. Um, so many people write me their stories and it's easy for me to say, Oh, you, you know, you should try this or do that. Meanwhile, I sit in the corner and cry. <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, it's so easy to give other people. Hmm. I don't want to know my neighbors. I know them. And I'm good. I'm not going to write them. Oh. Oh. The kind of roll-ups. Yum, yum. All right, I think I might have harvested. Oh, that's pretty. Another living room. Sorry. Not sorry. Gonna take it. Gonna take it. Okay. All righty. Oh, come on now. This right here, let me just tell you something. If anybody's even still watching. If you're still watching, write down in the comments, raise hell, kid. I always like to see who watches because <laughs> who watches all the way through. Because a lot of people will just leave comments and I know they didn't watch because they didn't say raise hell, kid. You know what I mean? Which I don't care. Look, if you click on it and you like it, great. If you don't, I'm sorry. 
I can only be me. But um, anyway, so you see this? This is a great one to pick out and put on your wall. Because if you're having a struggle trying to start a page, whether it be art journal, an ATC card, a canvas, whatever, um, take a piece of printer paper, like I always tell you, and work on that, you can see all the colors. Now, of course, you look at this and you're like, of course, it's greens and blues, but sometimes you lose track of that um, when you're trying to think of something, especially as we get older and especially on a lot of medication like I am. I mean, but look at this, this beautiful like uh, buff color, right? Off white with the greens and the blues and light blue. I mean, like, so this is a fantastic page just for inspiration. Um, but then you're doing an uh, art journal page or whatever, and this is a great background to start with. Because remember, collage is fantastic, but you don't have to um, do piece by piece by piece if you don't want. You can build, like I said, I, I do, I start with rooms and then build on top of it. Because sometimes this brain is like, girl, I don't know what you want. Come on now, look at this. Another color palette. Oh, and all this, okay. Oh, I gotta make some homemade ciabatta. I love that. I can't wait for summer. <coughs> and I'm gonna take this as staring at me. I think this is a good start for something. Now, the next one I go through, because I it, it'll take me forever. Like I said, I don't like to just sit all the time. Like, this is what? How many minutes? This will be like a half hour going through one. Um, the next one, I'll do eyes and mouth. <laughs> like face. Oh, my God. I just snorted. I'm so sorry. I'm a snorter. Sorry, sorry. And I find myself incredibly funny. <laughs> no. Um... Because I can't go through everything. You know what I mean? Like, it would take me hours and I would be bored. I get bored. Oh, yeah. Kale. Yeah. I do enjoy a kale. I do enjoy... Oh, I would really enjoy that. Oh, yeah. French onion soup pizza. Oh, my God. You had me at French onion soup. That's not for... That's just for me to have a recipe. <laughs> okay, we gotta keep going, Kelly. Keep going, Kelly. Oh, what's on this? Do any of you eat tuna in dishes besides? Because I only eat tuna fish in a can with, I make, um, what's it called? Like, we call them tuna hush puppies, but like tuna and mayonnaise and celery and onion. That's like the only way, like in a sandwich, right? Tuna sandwich, I guess. Um, tuna salad sandwich, I guess. Uh, but I know a lot of people will open the can and put it in like their pasta and stuff and like tuna noodle casserole, like which makes me gag even thinking about it because I used, um, when I was little, I would get like violent migraines all the time, which I still do. But when you're in school and you throw up the chicken patty that you had for lunch and then you come home and your mother's making tuna fish casserole, which... I grew up in the uh, 80s, and um, that was the big thing that everybody made, and it literally makes me sick. Like, I can't, ugh, because I'd have migraines and come home and then eat that and then throw up, so I can't eat it. And it's way too much information, I know. I'm sorry. But what are you going to do? All right, this obviously... Oh, look at this. Look at this. That's pretty for a background, but I'm not going to take that. All right. So, she going away. Can't keep them all. My husband's between cardboard and everything else. My husband's like, enough, girl. Enough. So, I will put the case on this. And remember, I will put this down below if you are inter interested in it. Um, and then we got some really good, let's just look real quick, real simple. And what I'll do, I'll probably do it later today, but I'll do the, uh, okay, I got some good, got a little dog, a little word. Got some good stuff, I got a recipe, because French onion soup pizza. All right, if you're interested, I'm going to tell the recipe here. 
three tablespoons olive oil divided plus more for your baking sheet, six large shallots, about four cups, thinly sliced. Okay, but if you don't have shallots, you can use onions, let's face it. Uh, salt, balsamic vinegar, which let me tell you something, I bought the Rachel Ray reduced balsamic drizzle. Oh my God, get it. It is, if you like that kind of stuff, I love making the tomato uh, salad with a little bit of mozzarella. Um, I use like the skim mozzarella on the Weight Watchers and then you sprinkle, like you drizzle this on. My God, a little garlic, come on now. Uh, she, they don't make their own dough, which I like too. But a pound of store-bought pizza dough, Gruyere cheese, which is so good. Uh, ricotta cheese, parsley, and thyme. I bet you I can make this very low fat for Weight Watchers. I'm going to do it. Preheat oven to 500 with the rack at the lowest position. Heat two tablespoons of oil. Add shallots and salt. Cook stirring occasionally until caramelized. Add water one tablespoon at a time. If they start to burn, remove from heat, stir in vinegar. Stretch your dough out. Brush remaining tablespoon onto the dough. Spread the shallot mixture evenly over the dough. Top with gruyere, rounded tablespoons of ricotta. Bake on lowest rack until crust has puffed and cheese has melted 10 to 12 minutes. Sprinkle with parsley and thyme. Now I would change this a little bit. I would not put ricotta. Um, or at least not in these dollops because my family, I'm, I love ricotta and Emily and Dave will eat it if I make managat, but they won't eat it like this unless I really season it. So I'd have to season it with like garlic and that kind of thing. Um, if you guys want to see like a Weight Watchers, like a lower fat version of this, let me know. Because this is delicious. And you don't have to use cheese or you could use... Uh, you know, uh, vegan cheese or whatever, but that's good. And I probably would not use, I mean, shallots are delish, but I mean, I don't know. I probably would mix it with onions, but if I didn't have shallots, I would probably just do all onions because that's what I make my French onion soup with, but mmm, delicious. Anyway, okay. They aren't, remember, raise hell, kid. Do it now. Do it now. All right. This I love. I absolutely love this. I don't know what I'm going to do this. Cookies. That's great. Okay. Next we'll be gluing a page together. Okay. All right. That's a good haul for me. <laughs> I hope, I mean, I don't know, this was probably boring, but I figured I like to record everything I do sitting here. Some I put up, some I don't, some I put to music. Um, you know, if you're interested, I figure you'll watch it. If not, then you won't. I don't care. I did it because I like it. But let me know what you guys think. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I will be uh, doing probably another one of, of pulling apart eyes and faces and different things. Um, as well as drawing, showing you guys a new video of draw, you know, how I like to draw with pictures out of magazines, because you can get these at the library for free, the dollar store for free. They all have, you know, small magazines. They might not be good housekeeping, but your library gets rid of theirs when, um, the month's over. So something to keep your eye on. I love you guys so very much. Let me know if you guys like doing this, the collage and pulling, harvesting from the magazines and listening to me talk. Um, maybe you'll do it while you're listening to me doing this. I love you guys. Thanks for being so loving and supportive. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.